In this video, we are going to solve systems of equations by substitution. Okay, now let's go over the steps to solving those systems of equations. The first step, pick a variable, solve for it. You usually have four choices to pick from in those variables. Plug the expression into the other equation. Do not use the same equation that you just used to solve for your variable. Then solve that equation and then at that point you should have your first variable. But remember we have two variables so you need to find the other variable by plugging this answer into one of the original equations and then write your point. Let's get to work. We have the systems of equation x minus 2y equals 5 and 3x minus 5y equals 8. In order to solve this by substitution, my first step is to pick a variable. I could pick the x that has a coefficient of just 1. Very easy to solve for that. But I could pick this y that has a coefficient of negative 2 this x with a coefficient of 3 and this y with a coefficient of negative 5. The easiest way to solve this problem is to use the first equation and solve for x. So I'm going to write down my first equation x minus 2y equals 5. How do we solve for x? Yes, we will add 2y to both sides so x will equal 2y plus 5. I have completed my first step. Now we are supposed to take this and plug it into the other equation. So our other equation, 3x minus 5y equals 8. So I will have 3. And you told me x was 2y plus 5. So I will plug in. 2y plus 5 minus 5y equals 8. So since I solved for x, I plugged it in. I had 3 times x, so now it's 3 times 2y plus 5. And now we just do a little bit of algebra, a little distributive property here. 6y plus 15 minus 5y equals 8. We have some like terms. Let's put those together. 6y and a negative 5y is just 1y. And when you subtract 15 from both sides, y will equal negative 7. So we do have y is equal to negative 7. But what about x? Well, remember, x was equal to 2y plus 5. So since x was 2y plus 5, I will have x is equal to 2 times negative 7, because that is what y is. So 2 times negative 7 plus 5. 2 times negative 7 is negative 14 plus 5. So x will equal negative 9. We need to write our answer as a point. So our answer is, the x comes first, negative 9, negative 7. And I could check this. Remember, this was our answer, negative 9, negative 7. And I should be able to plug it into not just one, but both of those equations, and it should work. So negative 9 minus 2 times negative 7 should equal 5. That would be negative 9 plus 14. And yes, that is equal to 5. And for our second equation, we should be able to plug in negative 9 for x, negative 7 for y. I would get negative 27. Negative 5 times negative 7 is a positive 35. And yes, that also equals 8. Aren't you glad you know algebra? You would have been sitting here all day long trying to decide the ordered pair for that systems of equations.